As the war in Ukraine sparks fears about global gas shortages, nuclear power is having a moment in the spotlight. As clean energy advocates like Elon Musk argue, energy independence isn't just an economic issue, but also a national security one as well. As Alex Capriello explains from the San Onofre nuclear plant near San Diego. Alex, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Ruta Bay. Now, back in the 1970s and 80s, the United States was largely considered the global leader when it came to nuclear energy output, with power plants like the one you see right here behind me largely responsible for generating and delivering that energy all across the globe. But in the decades that actually followed that, China and Russia largely took over that role. But there's been a renewed push to recapture that title and make nuclear power the main source reliably and safe as a substitute for gas and fossil fuels. The ongoing tension between Russia and Ukraine has shed new light on nuclear energy amid fears of a gas shortage stemming from the invasion. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk weighed in, saying Europe needed to kickstart its nuclear power options immediately, calling it critical to national and international security. Bill Gates and his company, Terra Power, is making one of the first advanced nuclear reactors in the United States. Nuclear power can be done in a way that none of those uh, failures of the past would recur because just the physics of how it's built. 40% of the energy used in the U.S. comes from carbon-free sources like solar and wind, and 20% of that comes from nuclear energy. That leaves the other 60% to fossil fuels. Experts say it's not about eliminating the use of fossil fuels, but about increasing the amount of the other carbon-free tech. And when it comes to safety, experts say the nuclear industry is the safest it's ever been. The U.S. partners with other nuclear operators all across the world to ensure the same safety standards are being implemented here in the states. It really has been smart state and federal policy that has gotten us where we are with wind and solar. Now let's do it for the rest of the carbon-free technologies, including nuclear. Now, Ruta Bay, there are 93 current operating power plants all across the United States. That accounts for about 20% of the electricity generated in our country. But it's important to note that they are all working at full capacity. There's none of them that uh, still have more room to grow. They're all working at 100%. So if we were, as a country, to make this shift to generate more nuclear power energy, then the first investment would need to be building more plants. Ruta Bay. Alex, thank you. A lot of people looking into that possibility these days. And amid these decades high tensions. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.